So you're joining us while we're eating dinner. Well, one person, three people. Three people are joining us while we're eating dinner. So we're just going to have a little dinner chat. We thought that'd be nice. So join us for dinner. I hope you've got some dinner. Or breakfast or, or breakfast. Yeah, lunch breakfast. or tea and biscuits. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Tea and biscuits. How are we doing? Where are we, where are we coming from today? Who knows? It's a, it's a guess. Good morning. Hi, Lost Boys. Hello, Lost Boys, number one. How are you doing? What time is it there? It's really like five o'clock in the morning or something, is it? Is it? What's on the menu tonight? Um, we have, do you want to show yours? Because yours is a bit more intact. Uh, what we've got here is, uh, it's a pasta dish with some asparagus from the garden. Uh, we've got some sun-dried tomatoes, we've got fresh little cherry tomatoes and some little bits of tofu that have been fried up, uh, baked up as well, and uh, all covered in a nice uh, smattering of nutritional yeast, and it is delish. But what sauce is the pasta in? No idea. Pesto pasta. Avocado pesto pasta. Oh, there you go. In Australia, it's five... 533. Mm. 533. 533. Oh, 533. Anyway, hi Jan. Hello from Hello. From Barca. Barca. We had an oh. earthquake yesterday morning. 3.8. Who did? Uh, Lost Boys. Oh my word. 3.8. That's is quite that big, big isn't it? Yeah, it's big enough. Hello mm. from Kansas. Django, did you hear that? What? You just farted. <laughs> What's the matter with the dogs today? Daisy was doing that earlier. Hive called Belfast. It's noon in Calgary. Congratulations on the signing the paperwork for the property. Thank you, Wendy. Yeah, that was um, that was a good, momentous day. Hi, everyone from Narrabut. Got the drinks going to celebrate your fab news. Mmm. We've also got some other news to share. Because um, we... Some we have received uh, some comments because we had some other news that we shared via other social networks, and then some some people comment uh, reached out to us and said you should share your other major news on YouTube because some people don't tune into your other social media. Mm. What news is that? Well, I asked Rachel to marry me, and she said yes. So that was really good news. So if you didn't know that, <laughs> I'm just making sure that you know that now. <laughs> mm. You are very blurry. You're very blurry. Hold on a minute. Mobile data? Yeah. Let me sort that out. Verb. Mm-hmm. Mobile data. What's that doing? Thanks, guys. Thank you very much. Thank you. For your congratulations. So, anyway, we thought what we'd do this week, after there was some suggestions, thank you very much. Um, uh, yeah, I've got to get her down the aisle very, very quickly before she changes her mind. <laughs> before the drugs wear off. Jeez, <laughs> you can't say that. Mm. Uh, thought Julian was announcing he was pregnant. Congratulations, now Bambinos. Uh, I don't think so. I've got enough babies. Was that a... in animal form? <laughs> I'm not pregnant. I'm just, I'm just big boned. That's all it is. Just big boned. Are we invited to the wedding? Can we come to the hen do? Oliver <laughs> can be a ring bearer. <laughs> Uh, Django best man. Yeah. Page boy, I think. Yeah, I think so. I think Steve. Steve might be doing that. And I think uh, Mr. Freddy will be doing that task. Mm. Where will you marry? We don't know yet. We haven't thought that far ahead. But... Um, yeah, we'll work. We'll work that one out. Probably in Scotland, I think. Yeah. 
It just depends on COVID and stuff, doesn't it? Mm, mm. So last week, moving on. Last week, uh, we said we'd do a, a Q&A to you guys. So rather than you ask us questions about the sanctuary, we're going to ask questions about, about you. Well, that might be a bit more interesting. Mm -hmm. So I've, I've had my thinking cap on, and I've been thinking about how we can do this. So I thought, well, well, you don't know this because I was just thinking about it. Mm. It's like, if I, I could put like, uh, sparks an idea for Jacob's Ridge Weddings, Moneymaker. It could be, I think, in further on down the road, I think that could work. I think we need to get a lot more organised and... Um, Update facilities and things like that. Yeah, I think so. It wouldn't be posh enough. <laughs> yeah, it really wouldn't be posh enough. <laughs> You'd want a real down-to-earth kind of... Yeah. Yeah, smelly <laughs> animal wedding, then, yeah, then it's for you. I mean, I suppose there's a market for that. Mm -hmm. mm. <laughs> but we'll see. I did just suggest it to somebody once and they were like really rude about it really hmm they were like who would want to get married here i was like oh okay rude yeah thinking cat was that the earth tremors we heard mm -hmm. probably how is everybody anyway whatever you ask the answer is mind your own business ah. <laughs> does your family ever come to see you in spain mm. my mom's been out a uh, couple of times mm. but last time was like before covid um your kids come out yeah uh, and then yeah my kids come Freddy out Freddie was here a couple of weeks ago yeah yeah um not as often as i'd like if i'm honest VGTY. What does that mean? VGTY. Very good, thank you. Thank oh, you. very good, thank you. Right, okay. Oh, that's really annoying. Why well, is it just not scrolled? Why don't you get the comments on your? I don't know where it is. Oh, Rachel. Oh. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. I think it's over there, but yeah, I could do that. Hmm. Uh. No, she's twenty-eight and he's fifty-one. <laughs> um. I don't know what relevance of that is, but... Well, actually, I'm nearly 30. Hmm. I don't oh, know uh, how to get it. It like... shouldn't be allowed. It's disgusting. Absolutely. It shouldn't be allowed. This one. How dare you have feelings for me? <laughs> did that do it? No, something went wrong. Don't you lie? Yeah, I deleted that one. Oh, it's not there then. Hmm. Okay. Uh, You'd have to watch it then. Just. Oh, there it is. Hmm. Okay. So, how do I enter? Do your families like each other? <clears throat> well, Wendy, I don't. Well, they haven't met each other, have they? Mm -mm. <laughs> <laughs> we'll find out. Stay tuned for that one. <laughs> Smash the like button, guys. Hit that like button. Um, we've had so much rain. Uh, for these past few days, so um, we're sort of like drying out at the moment. Pop out chat. Mm. Yeah, that's better, isn't it? Okay, now you can see what's going on. Mm. Fencing for wedding gifts, yes, please. <laughs> uh, thank you, S Van Sky from sunny Georgia, Utah. Wedding gifts, fencing for all, yeah, absolutely. We need to get a certain glossy mag involved, beginning with an H. <laughs> What's that? Help. <laughs> Hoti, Hoti's bum magazine. <laughs> Did Barry learn to swim? Mm. Barry got really wet. It was so cute tonight. Mm. I took his, um, I took his head collar off, and uh, he got pretty, pretty wet. So I was drying him off and uh, giving him a head massage as well at the same time. 
And I'm not joking, he would have he would have sat there all day and let me do that to him. He was loving it. I was getting right behind his ears, all under his chin, really getting my fingers in there, getting really like giving him a really good massage all over, all over the top of his eyebrows. Oh. He was in seventh heaven tonight. He's cute. Yeah, he was really cute. He loved it. He just stood there and let me do it for ages and ages. He is a really cute donkey. So, one of the questions I wanted to ask you, well, you can choose, right? I'm going to give you four questions and you can decide to answer whichever one you want. Or all four if you Why feel you so inclined. Why do you them one at a time? Well. Let's... Thank you, Intrepid Brady Cat. Oh, thank you. Just all white the news. Great news. We're so happy for you. Thank you. Thank you very much, Intrepid Brady Cat. Uh, Okay, Mark, first four questions to you. I was just about to touch the computer. Oh, really? The screen. Uh, is alcohol, uh, when was the first time, do you remember the first time you had alcohol? If you've ever had alcohol, perhaps some of you haven't. Uh, the first interaction with animals, do you remember your first interaction with animals? And uh, a random one. I got this one off the internet actually, and I thought it was quite a good question. If you did have a boat, some of you obviously will have a boat, but if you did not have one and you did have one, what would you name it? And uh, does anybody here believe in magic? No. You should just start one at a time. Well, I just saw everybody like throw it out there. There's a few there. You know, I mean, personally, I'm drawn towards that. Does anyone believe in magic? Mm hmm. And what does what form does it take? Thank you, Simone, for your super chat <laughs> donation. Thanks, Simone. Um, just me says I drank half a bottle of sherry when I was a toddler and bounced down the stairs. Oh my goodness me! Half a bottle of sherry. Did you know? Uh, my mum, when I was little, she used to give me whiskey <laughs> to send me to sleep. <laughs> I think it was quite a common thing then. Mm, it was, yeah. And for teething as well. Mm. Yeah. I mean, I don't mean a slug of whiskey. I mean, mm. it was like, put your, what do you call it in America, a pacifier. Yeah. Put your pacifier in a dunk of whiskey and... When you were a natural baby. Yeah, I think so. I would have it in like a hot Well, yeah, obviously. I mean, not when I was like a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like when you were, how old? <laughs> Mm, I don't know, I can't remember. You could have been four, you could have been... I don't know, it was a heavy nightmare, I can't remember. <laughs> um, first alcohol was when I was a kid, probably around seven, New Year's Eve buzz fix. Mm. So that was your first alcohol when you were a baby? <laughs> Mine, yeah. Yeah, but I remember, but I suppose later on, I suppose you, you, you would, it would probably be that, wouldn't it? It would be a New Year's Eve or a Christmas. celebration, Christmas, and yeah. you get a little, tiny little a bit. bit. Of or something. Yeah. Or a bit of sherry, yeah. Yeah, a bit of grape juice and, and lemonade and you're told it's champagne or something. What is it? <laughs> Schlur. <laughs> we always used to have Schlur. Schlur? What's that? It's like fizzy fruit juice. Oh, it's right. like posh and... It was posh? <laughs> yeah, it was a bit... <laughs> like you, th you felt like you were having grown up alcohol. Mm. So. Mm. Um, Uzo at my 18th got totally wasted, never really touched alcohol since, said the Lost oh. Boys. Oh my God, Uzo... That's horrible. That is horrible. Wow. Got wasted on Uzo. Mm. Goodness me. That's horrible. <laughs> Jill says Heineken beer in Grand Cayman. Oh, okay. But how old were you, though? How old were you, Jill? Jan says port and lemon as a child at Christmas. Mm. My tortoise, Jacob McJacob face. And no, just hand quicker than the eye. Ah, okay. Jacob McJacob face <laughs> would be your boat name. That's hilarious. Oh, I read that as that's where you should, that was your tortoise's name, but you're answering, answering all the questions. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> the tortoise is called, and this is my tortoise, it's called Jacob McJacob face. Yeah, animals are magic, says Eleanor. Mm. Um, one, never. You've never had alcohol. Wow. Uh, two, which was what was that? First interactions with animals at yeah. birth. Oh, okay. What did you... What did you birth? No, not you didn't even birth the animal. <laughs> no. What did you interact with at birth? That's what I mean. Were you, you born assist, in a... You can assist in a birth. 
Oh, she means that bird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't think she gave... She was born into, into, into the care of animals. Yeah. With animals at birth. Three no boats, please. Mm. Is that what you would call the boat? <laughs> <laughs> no boats, please. Mm -hmm. And four, of course. Ah, okay. I believe in magic. Marie says, I live on a narrow boat and she's called Dougal. I travel the canals in England. Awesome life. Mm. That's cool. We know a couple of uh, boat travellers. What do you call, what's boat people called? Narrow, narrow, sailors. Narrow boaters. Narrow boaters. What's sailors, your, what's yeah. What's your collective term? Mm. Uh, age 11, lots of scrumpy in Devon, says Linda. Wow. Hot toddies were all the rage in Ireland. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Mm. Ida says, I do not like magic. I find it creepy. Whereas my mother got me a kitten at four years old. But did she go, ta-da! <laughs> <laughs> creepy. Creepy magic, yeah. I don't know whether magic, I don't think magic exists. I don't, I don't believe in it, do you? I mean, I'm not talking about magicians like David Copperfield floating in a car park. I don't mean that. <laughs> I mean, I know that's not real. Uh, but, yeah, but you you believe in like that you can do whatever you put your mind to. Yeah, so that, but you could call that magic. Yeah, I suppose so. Do you what like it depends what you're defining as magic. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? Magic's got a bit of a Like do you mean like waving a wand like Harry Potter like Sabrina Teenage Witch? <laughs> no, I don't mean that. <laughs> I don't mean like Hollywood magic. I suppose yeah, as you say, the the power of the mind, the power of Collective thought and belief. I suppose that could be called magic. Faith. Would faith be classed as magic? And what you can achieve in faith. But we just call it a different name. Mm -hmm. Maybe. I don't know. Mm -hmm. I just thought it was a very interesting thing. Do you believe in magic? Who believes in magic? I just thought. Yeah, I don't. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Can I just say this is so tasty. You have to excuse us, guys, for eating while we're talking to you. Well, that's a bit... Nearly finished. We're nearly there. Mm. So, Wendy says, When I was 12, my uncle would take us into the bars for a happy hour when on vacation. I had a bit then. Oh, yeah, when you used to go out for dinner or something. You were only allowed a, you were only allowed a drink if you were having dinner or something like that. Oh, yeah, yeah. You were only little... allowed in the bar if you were having a meal. Yeah, you get a little splosh. Yeah, is, like, yeah. Is, <laughs> is she having some? <laughs> Wait, her ass. Mm. Did you ever steal any of your parents' cigarettes? Did you ever try a cigarette? Mm. No? I was never into cigarettes. Mm. The first cigarette I had mm. was from Julian. <gasps> That's terrible. That was the first cigarette. Well. Well. Yeah. Well. And it wasn't even a proper cigarette. It wasn't even a proper cigarette. What was it then? That's all I'll say on that. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> um, well, there's no smoking anymore. That's all. Because are you... No. I'm I, guessing you used to nick cigarettes, did you? I did, yeah. My, the first cigarette was I... Um, my dad left one in an ashtray that, mm. was, that was smouldering. And I took it, and I tried it, <laughs> and um, and he saw that I did it. Well, he saw you do it. Or well, he came into the room and sort of like realised, you know, because obviously there was smoke coming out of my ears and out of my eyes, and I was <laughs> coughing. coughing. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And there was like, look, trying to look as innocent as possible, like going no, you know, green. And um, he just said, uh, yeah, have 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 one. How old were you? Um. Mm, I think it must have been about, uh, no, yeah, about 11, I suppose. I guess they still thought it was... No, younger than that. They thought that. it was good for you, though, didn't they? No, 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 no. He was no, he knew it was bad for me. He was saying, well, he have one. He wanted you to be put off by it. Smoke that. But smoke all of it. <clears throat> <laughs> no, I was so sick. Did that put you off for a while? Mm. Yeah, well, yeah, obviously, because I was little. But, I mean... When did you start smoking? Uh, 15. Yeah. That's bad. Well, it was just that that's what you did then. School, peer pressure and stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah. I, actually, do you know what? I think it was probably the influence of a woman. Oh, yeah. I mm. said, blame women. Well. You're the one that got me smoking. Yeah, but you didn't smoke for long, did you? No, because I you didn't like don't it. have an addictive personality. And then you made me stop. <laughs> yes, I did. Yeah. So that anyway, guys, um, <laughs> Gail says, I was given sherry as a teenager, never been able to bear it since, completely put me off. Oh, sherry to me is like Christmas. It's Christmas morning, a bit sherry. Port. I like port. In the morning of Christmas. Mm, anytime, really. <laughs> Depends <laughs> how I feel. Ursula says, my mother used to rub whiskey on my gums when I was teething. Mm. Mm. What's behind you? Mm. It's not Justine and Justin, is it? No, it's just a, a backdrop. Because we've got the red light on and the fire and stuff like that. So we just put that up because little sheep is the other side of that asleep. Um, yes, I believe in magic. I'm Wiccan. Ah, okay. That's an interesting one. Jimbo says, is she seriously eating online? <laughs> yes, I am. <laughs> Is she, is she, who's she? I don't know when else you want me to eat, Jimbo. I can't wait till after it because I need to get to bed at some point, so. Soz. <laughs> um, get over it. <laughs> Kathy says beer two works. Like beer number two or beer as well. Hmm. Well, that's interesting. So I've got some, I've got some additional questions which I'd like to throw into the mix. Should we? Well, Catch these up before you ask the other questions. Oh, yeah, go on uh, First alcohol, slow gin, secreted in a can of 7-Up, so no one would know. I was 13. <laughs> like your style. <laughs> uh, first drink at 16, pet at 5, my dog. My mm. boat would be my nickname for from ambulance days, Scud. Oh, dear. I'm not sure if I'd want an ambulance to pick me up called Scud or a guy driving it called Scud. Then again, I suppose if you've been picked up by an ambulance, you wouldn't really care what they were called. <laughs> I knit. I think knitting is magic. Lol. The things <laughs> made with my magic sticks and strings is amazing. <laughs> yeah, I think, like, creative things are quite magical. Yeah. Snowball, age six. Disgusting. Snowballs. Vodka. Snowballs are vodka, aren't they? I don't know. That rings a bell, but I can't remember what it is. Um, I think it's coconut and vodka. Yeah, I think you're right. I think so, anyway. I'm like not a big... Malibu kind of thing. Mmm, maybe. That's with cocoa, isn't it? Uh, I used to drink some of my dad's beer as a little girl in the pub. When I was 15, my teacher bought me a whiskey and ginger because I kept drinking his. Ah, the 80s. <laughs> I worked on a sailing work boat called a skipjack oystering many years ago. It's why I'm broken down now. Oh, sweet. Wow. That was so delicious. That was great. Thank you very much. See, you don't sound too surprised. And you don't have to sound so surprised. I know. Uh, okay. Right, come on then, get with it. I don't believe in the magic you're a wizard, Harry says. <laughs> <laughs> also, so wish that were real, but as a... Physicist, I absolutely believe there's magic in the universe. Quantum mechanics, anyone? Mm. Mm-hmm. Baby sham, yes. My boat would be called Please Don't Sink. <laughs> I need to uh, blow my nose. Well. But I'm stuck. Go on then. Do you want to read through some of those comments? Yes, I will. Okay, now you're in trouble. <clears throat> we can introduce the extra. The extra questions that we want to ask, really, like the serious nitty gritty stuff. Let's just not mess it around. Mm. Um, okay, what was the second question? Uh, the second question was uh, first interaction with animals. Oh no, or that the second lot. Too many drunks in the family. Uh, always had animals around. Can you pass my water, please? Yeah. I'm magic. I can make money disappear. It starts with me taking shots of tequila. <laughs> My brother had a dog, Taffy. She was my nanny. Oh, 
Um, always been around animals. My family took the guinea pigs and hamsters home at the end of the school year. Oh, yeah, do you remember that? When you were, like, given the charge of the school pet, whatever it might have been. Um, I never got trusted with anything. Um, but my children, once they brought back, we had to look after the, the, the school snail. <coughs> No, it was an African snail. What was his name? I don't know. I can't remember. It was massive. It was just this wow. huge, massive African snail. And we had to look after it. And I was like praying that we didn't kill it. Because it was like, I mean, I had no idea what to do with this thing. It was just like, I think Megan just came back and was like, look, Dad. I was like, oh, my goodness me. And, um, and oh, no, I got charged with stick insects. I had them. Yeah, mine died. Yeah, mine bred like crazy, and then I had loads of them, and then they kept escaping, and I just kept finding them everywhere in my room. Wow. And they got a bit out of control. <laughs> <laughs> you got an invasion of stick insects. I also had a pet snail. Did you? It was a garden snail, and I called him Brian. <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh, first animal was a stray cat named Snowball. I was four or five. Oh. Oh. Um, drinking beer in the Grand, Grand Cayman. Well, ni at nineteen. Well, there's a lot of you. There's a lot of innocence out there. I must say, looking over these comments, there was a lot of innocence, and some of you not so innocent. <laughs> um, I believe intention works like magic. Yeah, I I agree with that. I think that that's what I mean. I think there's this uh, this sort of kind of faith thing. We have a coven. Faith is magical. Yeah, yeah. Um, where are we? first of all, it was a border collie tuxedo. Oh, it's nice. Um, <clears throat> magic in the woo woo sense is nonsense, magic happens at a human level. Mm. Um, Linda says the food definitely looks good tonight. I guess Rachel cooked. Well, that's rude, Linda. Thank you very much. Uh, magic is all around us. I planted iris, they came back every year. Started smoking at 12, gave it up at 26, turned 50 this year and don't miss them at all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, absolutely. Hmm. Thanks, Valerie. Thanks, Valerie. Out of the well, can't keep me down. <laughs> um, yeah, smoking on and off, I suppose. Uh, I stopped smoking properly six years ago. That was that, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think so. Five, was it? Yeah. I don't. Mm, do I miss it? Sometimes, actually. Do you know what? Sometimes I do. Do. Sometimes you smell one and you're like, oh, I really can't see that. Yeah. Yeah, it does happen. Um, I'd love to quit smoking. Holy cow, is it hard? Yeah, it is hard. It is hard. I don't think it... It does get easier, but I suppose what it is is having the motivation somehow, isn't it? Whatever it might be. It's the same with, um, you know, uh, working out. You know, obviously you can... I work out. I mean, I don't need to tell you that. You can see for your own selves. Um, but <clears throat> I think it's having that motivation or having a reason to do something. I think that's what I think that's what you need, rather than just because. Uh, first sig, aged about ten, smoked for over fifty years, gave up fifteen years ago. Wow. Well done, Janet. Good work. Has anyone tried white port? It's so lovely. No. No, I didn't know that was no. a thing. Zoe says, I'm not a drinker at all. No, I don't. Actually, I don't drink at all anymore. Very occasionally we'll drink. Yeah, we hardly ever drink, do we? No. Justine is lurking behind. Yeah, I know. She's always around. You never know where she's going to turn up. Right, hold on a minute. I'm not we're going to get... Right, guys. Wait. Oh, we got that one. All right, okay. We're going, we're, we're, we're going to jump ahead a little bit here. Oh, Jenny, thank you very much. Thanks, Jenny. Uh, for your super chat. Congratulations on securing the animals forever home. Yeah, it was really good news. Um, I hate the holier than thou types. <laughs> well, yeah, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But, but is that, Valerie, what you're saying? Is that people that have given up smoking or have given up drinking or that or have just got that attitude? Just in general. Yeah, I agree with you that holier than thou attitude is not really tolerable, is it? Well, it may be for you, but it's not for me. Um, donkeys. 
Oh, donkeys. Uh, Valerie, you don't need caps. <laughs> yeah. Valerie, don't, Valerie, you do like to write in capitals. No, like, some people can't read very well, so they write in capitals. It's easier for them to read. Oh, uh, okay. Fair enough. Rachel, how did Julian propose? Yeah, Julian. Hey. Do you even remember? Yes, obviously. <laughs> um, hold on a minute. Has a donkey nip ever drawn blood? Um, it's done more than... Bruce. Uh, I've got a scar from Steve. <laughs> Steve went through a period of really biting people's boobs. Mm. Um, but anyway, he was having a fight, and with Ronnie. This was before, just before they were gelded, um, and usually they were separated uh, until we were able to get them both gelded. But on this particular occasion, Steve had managed to get out of his run, and then they were up at the house. We came back with the volunteers from uh, lake swimming, and this was I wasn't around, was I? You weren't here, no. I think I was filming. And yeah, I think we were. Yeah, and they started fighting, so I tried to separate them. Steve bit my boob, and then yeah, it was. It didn't bleed, but um, I have a scar. So it was a nasty, nasty bite. Absolutely. Um, are you guys having a party to celebrate the ownership of Jacob's Ridge? Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know about party. I don't know who would come really. <laughs> when we were just the animals. Um, I think this is probably the closest we're going to get to a party is with you guys. Uh, I got bit on the boob by a donkey and still bear the scar. <laughs> ah, there you go. So it's not just Steve then. It's other donkeys like biting boobs as well. Um, <clears throat> my husband asked me if I was interested in getting married on our way to Walmart. <laughs> Romance overload. Are you interested in getting married? Are, would you be interested? It's like on Love... Does anyone watch Love is Blind? <laughs> that was like... Um, I can't remember... Someone said that. Uh, Jan says they obviously don't want to discuss it, so maybe we shouldn't ask. What? <laughs> well, it's because it didn't ask, answer the question. Oh. But um, uh, well, I'll leave that. Uh, where are we? As a jockey, I seen a stallion pick up a guy by the shoulder and throw him around like a rag doll. Gave him the biggest blood blister I'd ever seen. Wow. Yeah. I think they really can go, can't they? Donkeys can be vicious. Yeah, donkeys can be. Do you remember that story you read? Don't, don't, <laughs> don't. All right, no, I'm not. I can't go there because the minute I even start thinking about it, I'm just not. All right. So anyway, is it? I recently gave up drinking because I can't afford it anymore. <laughs> yeah. I run anymore. Um, Next question, please, says Jane. <laughs> Next question, please. Okay, Jane, right. Okay, so your starter for six, or you've had your starter. Is it, okay, so the next group of questions. Mm. Is it acceptable to wear socks for longer than a day? I think, I think it depends. It depends on what you've done that day and how clean the socks have remained. Ugh, I didn't know that about you. <laughs> oh, we can't continue. And to be fair, I don't have any clean socks at the moment. Because... Oh, Tara, thank you very much for your super oh, chat. Oh, thanks, Tara. Oh, and thank you very much, Debbie. Thank you, Debbie. Oh, that's very kind of you. Thank you. Um, Maeve says yes. Linda says no. Mm. Mm. You can't wear socks for a year, even if you trod in <laughs> lamb poop. <laughs> Not if you step in lamb poop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Never acceptable to wear socks longer than one day. Uh, socks should be clean on every day. With thongs, of course. Oh, yeah. But you can't wear socks and thongs. No, no. <laughs> yeah, but hold on a minute. Let's just get that clear. In Australia, <laughs> a thong is a flip-flop. Do you remember those volunteers? Yeah, we had some volunteers here from Australia, and they started talking about wearing thongs in the shower. Yeah, they were asking the other volunteers, do you wear your thongs in the shower? And they were like, what? <laughs> And we were like, whoa, what has come here? What is this? Too much information. And so, yeah, that was quite interesting. Um, <laughs> if there's bodily fluids on them. <laughs> Tara, what bodily fluids do you get on your socks? I'm don't even, No, don't answer that. I wear two pairs of socks a day. 
You so wear two pairs I've a day. I've got my work pair, which I wear when I go work in the field. Yeah. And then I come in and I get changed and I change my socks. I do that. So because I wear two pairs a day, I'll usually wear them again the next day if they're not too dirty. Not usually the work pair, but the, the other pair. Oh no, my work pair. Then you make them your... Uh, my work pair's my work pair, and that's it. Forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, because I, tr I try not to create too much washing. That's where I'm at at the moment, because we don't have any clean clothes. Right, yeah, see I do, because I, I tend to... I don't have random like socks. If we've got rain and it's muddy and it's yeah. horrible and my boots are soaking and all the rest of it, I just have my work socks and then I'll put them on to do and do work because I don't want to mm. make more. My socks keep getting wet because my wellies have got a hole in them. You need new wellies. That's what it is. Anyway. Because, because like I've been washing all over his bedding constantly, like I haven't had a lot of time to do our washing and now we've got loads of rain so I can't get anything dry. So yeah, maybe I just have to buy some new socks. <laughs> yeah, I think so. Uh, I grew up calling flip-flops thongs in Houston. Sandy, I must have missed when they said they are engaged. Yeah, sorry, we made that announcement earlier because we, we'd we um, announced it on social media, but then we realised that we didn't announce it on Facebook, on YouTube, on didn't do it on our live. So it was just one of those things. And then we got a message through saying... Guys, on the next live, can you just tell people that um, you got engaged because not everybody on YouTube knows? So we're just letting. I think they actually you know. saw it on our personal page. Oh, was it? I think. Yeah. Um, Patricia, I never wear anything more than a day. What about pajamas? Oh, you have clean pajamas every day. You're posh. That's that's too much washing. That's so much washing. Okay, uh, I bet she does. I bet she. Doesn't. Let's just say it's about bloody time, says Jen. <laughs> uh, why did you choose Spain for a sanctuary? Well, Patricia, Patricia, Patricia you. doesn't wear clothes more than one day. Um, <laughs> uh, we didn't really choose Spain for the sanctuary. Um, it ha it it kind of happened by accident. Um, so it was just over, uh, just because of the way in which it evolved. And we were in Spain, so that's why it happened. Jan says, what are pyjamas? Jan, cheeky. Iron too. We oh. don't have an iron. <laughs> no, we don't. We don't possess an iron. I just don't True have story. one. Yeah. Uh, Christine, thank Christine, you very thank much. You. Thank you. And Jennifer, thank you very much for your super chat. Uh, do you want to read that one out? Uh, Jenny, yes, thank you. Yo, Julian, good dog Dexter here. Mum is busy in the kitchen. Evidently, this grandson kid is important. I love it when he's eating because he spills food on the floor. Mum still has not seen the bill yet. Good chat. <laughs> well, good <laughs> old <Dexter>. Dexter. <laughs> um, all I wear in bed is Chanel. Oh, Jan. Oh, no, that's Marilyn. Oh, it's not you. That's Marilyn Monroe. Okay, I see. Were you doing a little bit of a Marilyn there? Uh, I wear my pyjamas a couple of days because I shower before bed. Yeah, same. Uh Congratulations, you two beautiful people. Thank you very much, Thanks, Sandy. Sandy. Um, I would like to know more about your engagement, please, says I bet Cindy. You would, Cindy. Well, all I can say is it was incredibly romantic. Um, and uh, that's all I'm going to let you just paint the picture in your own mind. And um, yeah, I mean, it was, yeah, it was, it was the stuff of dreams. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> it really was. Um, <clears throat> Why is there a strange netting behind you? It's not a strange netting, it's a backing. And we've done it because of the light. Because you get a better picture if you've got some light. And otherwise the light just spills everywhere and it was just a mess. So we just put this up just to make it a little bit easier and you can see a bit better. And also I can leave this, the heat lamp on behind us for the little um, sheepy. Sheep. For Does she. anyone iron their smalls? I really hope not. I used to know some of that ironed their smalls. Really? Yeah. Yeah, never understood it. Um, uh, the, f the focus is better. Mm. Good. I hope you didn't propose while scooping Mark. <laughs> it's like, yeah. Oh, Rachel, um, just been thinking. No, it was a bit, it was, no. 
just, it was good. <laughs> all right, that's all I'm saying. It was good. Rachel didn't think so at the time, but it was, looking back on it. <laughs> Uh, will you be wearing a, a kilt for the wedding, Julian, not Rachel? Uh, I might do. Although the thing is, I don't have the best legs in the world, I'll be honest. Um, I think it might look like two knotted bits of string hanging out the bottom of it. So I don't think it would be a good idea. What's ironing? Iron their smalls. What the F? <laughs> I know, it used to. My dad, when he first got married to my Sam, mom, sorry. asked her why she didn't iron his smalls like his mum did. She quickly told him he could move back if he wanted to. <laughs> smalls are your underwear. And uh, ironing... The delicates. You must know what ironing... No, you're being funny. Yeah, you're probably being funny. funny. Yeah. I love your name, Jenny H. Hey, Jenny H. Um, so do we have another question? Should we go... Yes, over? yeah, the next question is... Uh, this one? Yeah. I want to know what your... Do you have any useless talents? I mean, useless talents. That's what I want to know. Do you have any useless talents? Me? I can hum and whistle at the same time. Go on then. No. Can you actually? Yeah. Go on then. Well, I heard it once. I, you know when, you, like, when you're when you younger and you get... <laughs> Great. That's not possible. It is. It, no, this is exactly what it is, right? So do it then. No, I'm just telling you the backstory first, right? So when I was little, I was watching TV or something, and they said, "Oh, did you know it's impossible to hum and whistle at the same time?" And I thought, challenge. I'm, no one's telling me I can't do something. So, um, carry on. So yeah. So I practiced and practiced and practiced. Can you <laughs> this, still do it? This spent youth. I haven't tried for many years. Go and try now. No. Go on. No, I can't do it. No, not in the live. It's crazy, man. Are you joking? If that happens, I'll practice and then maybe I'll do it. Anyway. Jenny uh, says I can castrate a cat in three minutes. That's not useless, Jenny. No, that isn't useless. That's a very useful talent. I can... <laughs> How many of us now are trying? <laughs> Come on, whistle and hum. Come on, you can do it. Oh, uh, is fingering a keyboard in the dark a useless talent? Uh, no, I wouldn't say that's useless. Again, I would say that's... Oh, sorry, I'll show that. Um, isn't it funny how it hit that one? Yeah, fingering. Is that why? Is that yeah. why? God, this bot is a bit weird, isn't it? Um, how do I stop my rotty puppies... Puppies? Puppies. Th th throwing tantrum tumbers, I can't read. How do I stop my rotty puppies from throwing temper tantrums? What do you mean by temper tantrums, Valerie? What are they doing? Mm, is that little Rottweilers? Little rotty pants? I can, please. yeah. Fold my body. Hang on, go up. Uh, go up, yes. Okay, and we're here. I can fold my body up to the point I can fit in a small suitcase. <laughs> it's like, hang on, it used to be my party trick as a team. Jesse, that is incredible. <laughs> Again, I don't think we could call that a useless talent. You can... Fold your body up to the point you can fit in a small suitcase, like hand luggage. How, where, how did you know this? How did you learn? How? What? Why? Why? Where does that come in? Oh, I wonder, did you look at the case and go, I wonder if I could... Oh, I must just try this. It's like that episode of Friends where Joey says, gets in the... the oh, in the... Entertainment... Cupboard. Home entertainment covering system thing and then gets robbed. Uh, uh, Marie says, I can touch my nose with my tongue. Okay. Um, <laughs> is that useless? I, I, would, I would hazard a guess that to some that might be very useful. Patricia says, yes, I can tie and untie a cherry stem with my teeth. Wow. Okay. And your tongue, I'm assuming. Uh... I can blow massive bubbles with bubble gum. I'm excellent at yeah. pub quizzes. Well, massive bubbles with bubble gum, that is, MJ, that is completely useless. I have to admit, that is a useless talent. Oh, is that? Uh, yeah. It's satisfying though, isn't it? Yeah. Massive bubbles, how big? Are we like really big so they pop and go over your face? Yeah. Ever done that? Yeah. I'm excellent at pub quizzes, full of useless knowledge. Well, again, not useless, is it? Come on, I want useless talents. Useless, properly useless talent. Um, oh, what have I done? What have I done? Good. I can take my bra off without removing any clothes. Well, well hello. 
<laughs> what about a sports bra, though? Uh, hold on. Where did I go? You went down a bit too far. Oh, I see. Right, okay. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, Miss Trek Freak. Thank you very much for your super chat donation. Thank you, Miss Trek Freak. What is a Wedding Trek family? Freak? A trek is it Star freak? Trek? Miss Trek Freak. Do you reckon? Oh, maybe, Or yeah. Trek, like trekking, like hiking. Oh, it might be. Well, of, like a freak of trekking. <laughs> um, so uh, I can hang a spoon on my nose and my ex-husband hated it when I did it at a fancy dinner. <laughs> Cheryl, I like his style. That is, yeah, that's exactly the sort of thing you should do at a fancy dinner, in my experience. Gwen says, I can do it, Julian, easy. There you go. Someone else can do a hum and whistle. I can touch the tip of my nose with my tongue. Yeah. So the puppies are jumping up and down and howling when I refuse treats. Um, so. Mm. Well. Jumping up and down and howling when I refuse treats. Wow, you they really to, are. How old are they? That's don't, don't worry, I'll just talk to myself. Sorry. <laughs> Go on. The floor is yours. Um, I would just, I would say, I'm not, I, I don't know loads about dog training, but I would, I would suggest when you training them to do something for a treat, um, so that they know that they have to do something in order to get the treat. So, for example, sit and making sure that they're quiet, making sure that they wait and then give the treat so that they start to learn that they have to do something for a treat. So is it possible then that uh, they've started to learn that by howling... That they get a treat. That they get a treat in the end yeah. because they're wearing you down, maybe. I like don't your know. kids taught Daisy to bark for a treat, but yeah. they didn't teach her to be quiet for a treat. For a treat. So now she barks for food. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. My pesky kids. <laughs> um, I can take my bra off without removing any clothes, says Jane. Oh, we've got we've done that one. Lost boys, I have no filter. A very inconvenient talent. <laughs> <laughs> I think it can be good in some cases. No, no. Um, in, yeah, you're right. It's inconvenient, isn't it? <laughs> no filter. But sometimes it's just like you just want to just. I mean, it's actually easier, isn't it? Life is easier when you when you have no filter. Is that an actual like thing? Uh, I think that, well, they, I think it gets mis misdiagnosed as being rude. Like, because some people with Asperger's, for instance, might do that. Right. Not saying that that's what Lost Boy has. No. But um, is that a thing on its own? I, or is it just a personality trait? Well, I'm wondering as well whether it's something that happens as we get older. Your filter starts to diminish. Because, and it's not that you haven't got a filter, you have got a filter and it works perfectly it's fine. Patient. But you just think, do you know what? I'm not even going to filter this. I'm just going to say it as it is because I can't be bothered. We get that, like, yeah, with old grumpy old men. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can be like that. I was a dancer. Being flexible was really handy. Could do contortion. And one day I just thought, well, why not? Wow. 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 I used to be able to apply lipstick with my cleavage. Je Jenny. <laughs> these are getting amazing. These are, wow. And now we're getting really to the useless talents. Again. <laughs> Carolyn can slide through the dog door. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, no, I mean, hold on. A lipstick with your cleavage. What did you say? Say that one. Uh, Jan says, um, I can say, plan fair plig. <laughs> Clan, clan, flair, pig, little, gwin, gil, gogger, twin, roller, droblum, but gogogog. When I was about five years old, see, my dad said it just once, and I've been able to repeat it ever since. I bet you that's true, isn't it, Jan? Is that an actual word, or is that like a place name? I think it's a place name. Don't they have? They do have a really ridiculous. Well, I recognise the first bit, the land fair bit, and I recognise the gogogog. At the end. How do you do P W L L? Ah, don't know. I don't know. I uh, can make and decorate 120 cupcakes in one evening with only 18 square inches of workspace. Again, not a useless talent, just me. That is a very useful talent. Um, 
Uh, I feel like we're we should move that more there because I feel like we're looking off screen yes. and we're and it's not very engaging when we're trying to what chat. What are smalls? What are smalls? Their smalls are your underwear. Did I? Did you drink? Is that? Yeah. That's mine. I gave you yours. Yours is over there. I can move each toe individually. Judy, that is. I'm not going to joke. That freaks me out a little bit. <laughs> I mean, feet freak me a little bit anyway. I find oh, feet a little bit, in. but if you can actually, if you're, if you've got dexterity in your toes, you must be like double jointed or something. That's weird, isn't it? It's weird. I bet we all no, it must be all within us to do that. It's just that we, we move out. <laughs> no, some people are double jointed, aren't they? Yeah, but to have dexterity in your toes because you see when people have had accidents or amputees or whatever, and they have to learn to do things with their feet. Yeah. And they can yeah, effectively true. use them as hands. as hands, yeah. I used to be able to write the customer's name in their guineas. Oh, wow, that's good. What if they had a really long name? Uh, n- nickname it. I used to be able to... Oh, I'm throwing it. Uh, it's a town in Wales, yeah. Uh, train oh, station. I need to learn that lipstick trick, since I always wear it. <laughs> If you rotate one foot clockwise and one hand turning in the same direction, then you switch to anti-clockwise with the hand. I bet your foot has to go anti-clockwise too. Hold on, let's try that. So if you rotate one foot, so take your right foot, yeah, and you rotate it clockwise, yeah, and then you take one hand, yeah, turning it in the same direction, okay, then you switch to anti-clockwise. Oh, yeah, that's difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no, I can't. I have is that, to practice is that, that actually impossible? That's good. That's good. Like it, Annie. That's a good. That's a good one, and totally useless. I agree. Julian's useless talent is that you can get thirty minutes behind in church. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Jan. Here we go. When Sorry. it's a long name, you do it in a circular way around the rim. Pardon? Around the Guinness. <laughs> oh right. Okay. I thought we were talking about lipstick again. Now I couldn't work out what was going on. It's actually a village in Wales. Yes, okay. A boy in my class at school had webbed feet. <laughs> he was a brilliant swimmer. <laughs> That's great. Uh, okay, next question. Yeah, okay. I can whistle and hum at the same time. Cheryl McNutt, you know exactly what I'm talking about. Okay. The worst... Uh, we've had... The, we have kind of had this conversation before. Um, let's say... Okay, we'll go. We'll go for it. We won't dwell too long on this one. The worst smell in the world. Rotting flesh, I think. Garlic. Oh come on! You'd rather smell rotten flesh than garlic. Garlic, eating garlic on the breath. I can't stand it. That makes so me. I hate it. You'd rather smell a dead animal. That remember when he had his. Oh, that was bad. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I'd rather smell that than garlic. No, it's right up there though. I don't know. It's a difficult one, isn't it? I'm not sure if we should hang on this one. My cat's farts. Yeah, right, Jane. We'll blame the cat. Uh, Archie's oh. my dog's farts. Oh, we've got lots of dog farts. Dead flesh. Hands down skunk. Everyone's saying skunk. Dead skunk. Oh my god. Uh, a dirty, a dried out poopy diaper. <laughs> I rescued. Oh, Jesse. I rescued a bearded dragon. She had pinworms and was impacted. Her first poop was right down my cleavage. Oh, you need the lipstick. That's what you needed. <laughs> oh my god. The toilet on my narrow boat when it's full and needs pumping out. Foul. Oh, here we go. Now we're getting the filth. It's about time you guys got engaged. What were you waiting for, says Judy. Oh, thank you very much for Thanks, your um, your super, super chat, chat, Judy. Uh, plucking up the carriage, Judy, I think, mainly. Um, Burning flesh when you wake up too early from surgery. Oh, my <laughs> word. The human sludge that is spread on our farm fields this time of year. Oh, oh that's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. Um, your dog after it's rolled in a pile of dead fish. Yeah, that's nasty. Please, I'm eating my dinner, says Jane. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, we'll stop. We'll move on oh, with this. What about one. that fruit? Is it stink fruit? That's might be pretty bad, isn't it? I don't know, but if we've got. Okay, so you're eating your dinner, so we'll we'll move on. 
All right, so here's, here's, here's one that's a little more friendly if you're eating your dinner, is what's the stupidest, the most stupidest cause that, of an injury that you've suffered? You know, it could have been like... I know what yours is. <laughs> what's mine? Well, t- tell me the injury and then I'll remember. When you've got concussion. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, that was stupid. That was stupid. I was... What were we doing? Mucking out, I think. No, we're doing straw. Oh, putting straw in and I had a wheelbarrow and I had some straw on the wheelbarrow and it was quite piled quite high. And um, and I was trying to push it down. So I decided to get on the wheelbarrow and jump on the straw to push it down, forgetting that wheelbarrow is only got three points touching the earth. So it's inherently unstable. So I it flipped basically and but it it sort of flipped enough to knock me over to knock me to fall and then it went back upright and I fell on my back and I cracked the back of my head on the edge of the wheelbarrow and gave myself concussion and got quite emotional for a day (laughs) which apparently is a sign of concussion um but what a stupid injury that was do you have any that like beat that or no not that I can remember I'm sure there's loads but not that I can remember what mine would be probably like my friend cut my thumb open with scissors because we're cutting Barbie's heads off. You cut, down the toilet. Cutting and flushing them down the toilet. Wow, 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 we're getting married. <laughs> you were cutting Barbie's heads off and flushing them down the toilet. Why? I don't know because I didn't like them. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I guess. Um, uh, good day, my beautiful Aussie friends. Love Australia. Yeah, uh, I broke my toe when I stubbed it on my son's shoe. The Ooh. shoe didn't move. Oh, how, how do you stub your toe on a shoe? How didn't the shoe move? Well, perhaps he was wearing it at the time. Walking backwards and talking. Ah, oh, Valerie, where, where you, that's Useless. your. That's how you fell down the well, Valerie. <laughs> <laughs> um, when my dog ran out into the garden chasing some hoe. <laughs> <laughs> Justine, are you allowed to say that? <laughs> my dog ran into the garden chasing some hoe. <laughs> say hoe. <laughs> I'm always hurting my toes with my big feet. I've lost so many toenails. Oh. Uh, My husband hit himself in the back of the head with a pickaxe. He was six foot seven, so there was extra strength behind the swing. Oh, is that what when he what he's picked it up like that and cracked the back oh, of his head? Oh, that reminds me of another thing that you did to your head. Oh yeah, with the thing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that was bad. I was putting in a post with um with a pile driver, and um and I was up a little step ladder. And I was bashing it in, but it was like a piece of rebar metal and it's got these ridges all the way down. And as it went down, it caught the ridge and the weight at the top of it, it's like a cylinder with this big heavy weight on the top. It's very heavy. And as it came down, it caught. And rather than going down straight away, it came into my head and it cracked me right across the top of my head. Mm -hmm. And I've still got, I've got this line. Yeah, I've got an indent that goes right across there. I'm like Harry Potter without imagining. Um, that walked into a wall, got a concussion. Valerie, oh my goodness me. You want to read that one? Uh, Jennifer, thank you for your super chat. Yo, Julian, good dog Dexter sneaking in here again. So you finally, you got engaged. Glad to hear the news. I was concerned that you were possibly a little slow witted. Now I know you are the hero uh, that I thought you were. <laughs> oh, thanks, Dexter. Thanks, Dexter. Worst injury was a cat hanging off my hand by its teeth. My skin slowly shredding. It was Ooh. white too, and I had to bathe it after and say how well behaved it had been. Oh my god! Uh, banging my head on the lock off. Oh, we missed the rest of that, Justine. Oh, unless it was the door. Anyway, uh, uh, Not- roller skates downhill and gravel. It didn't end well. Oh, Tara, I can imagine. I can imagine that one. Not me being stupid, but walking my dog in Los Angeles, crossing the street when a jerk came at us and I slipped on palm tree nuts, sliding into the gutter. 
equals ER visit after seeing my kneecap. Oh, slipped on nice. palm tree nuts. Uh, diving headfirst in the shallow part of the pool to teach my cousin. Oh, Allegra, I've done exactly that. I did exactly that same thing. It really hurts, doesn't it? Um, whoops, something I banged my head on a kitchen door. Oof. Uh, Tripped over a crack in the sidewalk, caught myself on the way down, elbowed myself in the ribs and cracked a rib. I missed uh, Zoe's. That's what he did, Julian. And that's where Zoe... Cracking your head, I think. When he cracked his head with the... Oh, my husband hit himself in the back of the head with the pickaxe. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, lifted that up and smacked it in there. Uh... Oh, my God. My... Did you read that one? My brother, when he was a child, went to kiss a snapping turtle and it latched onto his lip. Oh! Uh, Mike... Hello, Mike. He says, too much booze, injury. Uh, ER yesterday got gall sludge, they said. What? What? Hold on. Sorry. Tremendous stomach pain going to have that puppy yanked out. Was that gallstones or? Oh, my God. Mike, good luck with that, mate. Good luck with that. That sounds horrific. That sounds really horrible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll just keep drinking. Just don't stop. Go all the way through. <laughs> That's what I would do. Tripped in the kitchen, grabbed top freezer door to catch myself, pulled the whole refrigerator down on top of me. Broke your leg. But broke your leg. Oh my God, Etta, that's horrible. Sorry for laughing, but that is absolutely that's horrific. That's like something off a hoop and frame. Yeah. Happy birthday, Junita. Uh, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Uh, <laughs> uh, I got a concussion after a bus T-boned my car. Um, riding down a hill on a bike without brakes straight into long growing nettles oh Linda yeah 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 it reminded me of something um, we used to have chickens when I was growing up and I went I was like sent to collect the eggs or whatever and one of the chickens was hens was broody so I like tried to get her out of the box and she pecked me and I fell backwards into a pile of nettles <laughs> Um, Anne, thank you very much for your super chat. Thanks, Anne. Uh, yo, Dexter, it's Murphy the Wonder Dog. My mum doesn't know Steve is helping me with the computer. Wanted to send a shout out or a woof woof. Uh, good dogs and donkeys stay together. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Or I should say thank you, Murphy the Wonder Dog. Um, slicing a bread roll with my new knife, I continued right through my finger, almost to the bone. Good knife. Oh, oh my goodness me. Okay, right, okay. Well, that, that, this was supposed to be friendly for while we're eating, actually. Um, okay, so another question is, uh, uh, yeah, okay. Oh, it's a bit more of a simple one, really, I suppose. Actually, it goes on from what we were talking about last week about Zor, but what name do you wish you had? If you could have had any name, is there a name that you wish you had? Is that as, is that as good? What would yours be? Zor? Zor, yeah. yeah. I don't think I have a name that I wish I had. You don't? Well, you could have anything. You could be restart. You could restart now, restart your life, mm. and your name would be Plant Pot. Brilliant. Yeah. <laughs> I think I think you're I think you could come up with something better than Plant Pot. Unicorn. Unicorn. Your name would be Unicorn. Yeah. Love it. Well, you could just do that now anyway. You could just mm. I could change it by default. Yeah. Change your name to Unicorn. Unicorn Nicholson. Do you want to, do you want to show that? Uh My funniest accident, I fell into a window in a cake shop full of cream cake. <laughs> That's brilliant. Did you land like head first into the cake? Um, nearly drowned, literally, when trying to catch tadpoles as a kid. Oh, oh yeah. God. Yeah, I fell into a, a lake like that as well. Not a lake, a, a pond. Got... Picking up dog poo, I hit my head on a metal electric box and got concussion and a few stitches. Oh, Dean, that sounds horrific. Uh, children are double jointed and we lose that as we age. I can still cross my pinky toe 
over the next toe on my right foot. I can move the left pinky toe as well, but not automatically like the right. Wow, okay. So do you just keep practicing that so you don't lose that skill? Uh, I think falling into a window of cupcakes, that's, that's right up there, isn't it? Who hasn't kicked their shins on a trailer hitch attached to a car or truck? Fooey, that is, that's the one, isn't it? That is the one, that is horrible. Do you remember when I fell over in the trailer and that guy was like, there was like a strange man who tried to help me. Remember at the bins when we were emptying the rubbish and I fell over like the, <laughs> the hitch and that guy was... I don't remember a strange guy. Do you know? And he no. was a bit drunk or something. Was he? I don't remember him. I remember you falling over in Mercia when you tripped over the hitch on the back of the car. When we came yeah. out of the cake shop. Oh, I walked into it, didn't I? Yeah, but there was traffic. I had to give you a bit of a nudge. <laughs> <laughs> Don't fall over! Oh, no. Um, a friend woke up during his colonoscopy. Well, that had to be crappy. <laughs> uh, check out my video of my foot. That's clumsy for you. Oh, day. Oh, dear. Oh, days. Oh, days. Oh, my days. Um... So Jenny wants to be called Betty. Zoe wants to be called Zenobia. That's Ooh. cool, like that one. Ida likes her name. Well, Ida, fair enough. Uh, Carolyn wants to be called Esmeralda. Love it. Esmeralda. That always reminds me of, um, was it the Terror Hawks? I'm Isn't that a princess in Frozen? Oh, maybe. Uh, Rachel has always been my favorite name. Oh, Aww. that's nice. Oi, you. <laughs> That's your name. You're just going to be called Oi, you. I love that. Yeah. Oh, I've done it again. I've moved the bloody thing here. Sorry, I've lost control of everything. Oh, I shouldn't be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Daphne. Daphne, when I was a kid. Is that from Scooby Doo? <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ashley Armstrong, because it's male or female and easy to pronounce. Steve. <laughs> Steve. <laughs> My name would be Gabriella. Mm, I would never change my surname. Havens. I love it. Love its meaning too. Yeah. Well, that's your surname. But what about your what about your first name? Tara says I love my name. Nicola. That doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Tara says I love my name. Is Nicola. Maybe Tara is a pseudonym. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, maybe it is. I remember leaning forward at a chemist window, and it had an old-fashioned bow window unfortunately convex I nearly knocked myself out <laughs> wow did it make a real big noise as well I bet you really did bang into that oh that's quite a thought Paul um, is a nice name I wish I had that says Patricia Holly yeah it's a nice name oh. uh, guinea pig my guinea pig my guinea pig charging at a new rescue pig put my put hand, hand up, up to protect, to protect him, him. Aggressive pig bit my hand and hung from it by his teeth. Then it went septic. I didn't recognise it and nearly died. Whoa. <gasps> wow. Oh. Aldine says, I already have a unique name and I'll settle for that. Uh, thank you, Tara and Jenny. Maybe Did I just wishing him... I don't I don't know. I didn't oh, see I see. Yeah, 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 yeah. Almost wow. anything other than Janet. Most people call me Jan these days. Jan's nice. I like Jan. Yeah. Sprocket Rocket. I think you should call yourself Sprocket Rocket. What is wrong with that name? Roxanne. My father wanted to name me after a ship he was on in World War II. My mother named me Janet, though. Roxanne sounds much more fun. Yeah, I agree. But Janet's a nice name as well. Bron Bronwyn. Uh, I used to have a cat that would jump off the sofa and hit his head on the glass coffee table, then look at us like, why did you hit me? That cat never accepted accountability for his own actions. Cats, they are, what are they all about? Cats are so weird. Oh, my arm went septic, not the guinea pig. Oh, that's good. <laughs> I fell into an abut, not that it's good that you went septic. <laughs> I, good for clarifying. Good, thanks for clarifying. Yes, thank you. Uh, I feel in, I fell, I feel, into an above ground pool with only three inches of water. Oh, Vanessa, that's horrible. That's really horrible. Not into the deep end. 
Um, these injury stories are hilarious. Sorry for the pain they cause, but good stories. <laughs> they are, aren't they? They are, they are funny, but you find yourself trying not to laugh too Don't much. forget to hit the like button. Oh, yeah, hit the like button, guys. Um, any, any name that would have been on pencils. All the kids at school have stuff with their names on but me. I named my kids Nick and Katie, so they would always be able to find their name on a cup. Well, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I could never get the correct spelling. It would always just be E-L, not A-E-L. Did you just have to cut that little bit off the edge of the pencil and write <laughs> it on that bit? Did you have to do that? No. No, not at school? Cut the end off the bit of the pencil. You know where you've got a pencil at the end, it's got a flat bit, and you have to shave a little bit of that bit off, and it exposes part of the wood of the pencil, and then you write your name on the pencil. No. You didn't do that? The weird pencils we're using. Okay, just me then. Um, I very often get called oi, and I answer to yeah. <laughs> My name was going to be Rachel, but Dad wanted to name me after Patty Page. Oh, Patricia. Who's, pa oh. who's Patty Page? Patty Page. I don't know who Patty Page is. Patty Page. Is she a singer? An actress, maybe? Such lovely <laughs> memories. Do you remember the bins? <laughs> <laughs> I know, we do have these great memories. Oh, I remember that time we were down the bins. Pushed you into the traffic. Steve is writing the book. Yeah, I think he is. Uh, we've all banged our shins on trailer hitch. Hurts like hell. It sure does. Okay, you've taken over control. No, I just wonder where that went. There we go. Thank you, Lisa Larson, for your super chat. Oh, Lisa, thank you very much. Uh, Esmeralda was from not Hunchback of Notre Dame. Oh, Esmeralda. My mum wanted to name me Misty Dawn, but while she was pregnant, Grandpa got a dog and named her that. Mum was mad. Oh, Lisa, that is... Aww. Yeah, that's... That's bad, isn't it? We've got a horse here called Misty. I think I skipped too many. You did, didn't you? Oh, Lisa Larson sent another super chat. Thank you, Lisa. Is it? Is it? Yeah, there's one there and there's one there. Oh, thank you very much, Lisa. That's very kind of you. I bet you didn't mean to do that. You just pressed it twice. <laughs> Go, yes! Damn it, I can't. I just hit delete now. Oh, I can't. Call me anything you like as long as you don't call me late for dinner. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Very funny, Jan. Ooh, ooh, my mum's done that. I was leaning to a fence to pet a calf. The grass was wet after the rain. My head hit the electric fence and threw me backwards and I passed out. <sighs> oh, I hit touching an electric fence after rain is, it is horrific, isn't it? It's like someone's punching That's my new word, that is. Horrific. horrific. Yeah, I think so. That's horrific. That's horrific. It's iconic, man. It's chronic. Iconic. Oh, it's iconic. <laughs> Loki iconic. Loki iconic, that is. That's what that is. Let my dog out into the garden on long lead and he chased something and I ended up hitting my head on the kitchen door. Ooh. Oh, I hate it when they do that. They just like drag you and you drag you into a tree or something. <laughs> <laughs> Samantha. Um, yes, from Scooby. Uh, my favourite name is Zanzibar. When I take my daughter's dinner, I always make reservations under that name. So the hostess calls out. And Gillian. Oh, sorry. Too far. Sorry. Zanzibar party. Party of four, <laughs> Zanzibar. Uh, Jesse, thank you very much for your super thank chat. Jesse. Uh, I'd like to be called Alexa just to annoy Alexa. <laughs> Do you think it would go around in a circle like she would be talking to you and then it would give herself a command? I don't know. We should try that. We haven't got an Alexa. Have you got Alexa? Mm -mm. No. What's the cow called Esmeralda in Magic Roundabout? No. Erm Ermintrude. Yes. Ermintrude. Ermintrude. I have been happy with my name, says Marion. Uh Tara is my middle name. The twist was a Celtic knot tattoo I saw years ago. Hmm. Oh, okay. I want it to be Rain. Rain. Oh, there was wasn't there a famous actress called Rain? Was there? Yeah, I think so. It's a nice My name, I like it. new niece is called Elodie. Elodie, Elodie, is that right? Elodie. I like that. Elodie, yeah, it's nice. It's kind of like Melody, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, Valerie says, I won't tell my AKA in case I have to go into hiding. <laughs> uh, okay. Next question. I'm going to give you some another question now. This is it. What is the most 
ridiculous thing that you've ever believed? Now, come on. You've got to be honest now. Something that you've believed that you've now since learned wasn't true and it actually is quite ridiculous. I can't think of any myself. I believe the story you told me about cutting someone's fingers off. Oh, that was brilliant. <laughs> I was talking to Rachel. I was messing around and we were having a chat and um, I was, I can't remember what the, how the, what the context of the story was. But I, was, I think it was about talking about what I would do if someone stole from me. And if someone stole from me, I think I was saying like, very simple, all you do is you chop their fingers off. And Rachel was like, oh, yeah, ha, ha. And, I, and I thought, oh, it's a chance for a story here. So um, I said, no, I'm being serious. If you steal from me, not you, not you, but if I caught someone stealing from me, I would chop their fingers off. And Rachel said, would you? I was like, I've got to go for this now. I had to really sell the story. So I said, um, yeah, yeah. I said, oh, oh, it's not. I said, I've done it. I've done it. And she's like, you've chopped someone's fingers off. I said, yeah. I said, yeah, I have. I said, it, was, it, wasn't, it wasn't fun. And basically, I made up this entire story of me chopping this guy's fingers off. And I really sold it. You really believed yeah, it, didn't you? I put all the little details in, like what he was wearing, what the weather was what like outside, the, the conversation, how it went. The build up. The build up and then like walking up the staircase and the, the way that the staircase was creaking as I walked up the staircase, where we had to go, what the kitchen was like, where I did it, what the knife looked. Oh, it was just I was so detailed, absolutely sold the story. And Rachel 100% believed that I chopped a bloke's fingers <laughs> off. And I was like, wow. I had to admit it in the end, obviously, that it was all fabricated and wasn't true, but, or was it? Stop. <laughs> I used to believe that when you moved house, they would come and pick your house up and move you. <laughs> oh, Rachel, I love you so much. That's... When did you stop believing that? Uh, what was like eight or something? <laughs> eight years ago. <laughs> no, when I was eight. Oh, when you were eight. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're moving house. <laughs> just come and move your entire house. I didn't understand why people would move to a different house. That just seemed bizarre. So I just assumed that they moved your house. <laughs> they just moved your house. Well, actually, they do do that, don't they, in some places? Well, yeah, like tiny homes and stuff. Yeah, even here they do it as well. I've seen houses on the back of lorries. Have you? Yeah. Anyway. What's yours? Um, the most stupid, ridiculous thing I've ever believed in. Mm. Oh, my brother. Oh, it was my brother. Yes, I had an older brother. I had one. I've got, a, I've got an older brother. And he convinced me that I had won a competition on Saturday morning television when I was a kid and oh. I was so excited. Uh, he had, he drew out the envelope and everything saying that you've won the top prize. You didn't, you didn't know it was his writing? No, I was little and oh. he was older and he was just totally taking advantage of my vulnerability and, and gullibleness. If that's a word, gullibleness. Gull Gullibility. Gullibility. Gullibility, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> and uh, yeah, I a hundred percent believed him. And um yeah, that was that was a de that was oh, a disappointment. And also, actually, there is another one. I went to school with this kid. I was a bit older now, so oh, I don't know. It must have been about I don't know, thirteen, I suppose, twelve or thirteen. And I had this particular friend at school who was uh, he had the he really did have the gift of the gab, and um, he was brilliant on computers. He had a little computer. And he was like the first kid in our school that had a computer. Why did they didn't even exist then? Yeah, of course they did. I'm not that old. <laughs> oh, it was the internet that didn't exist. <laughs> it was the internet that wasn't around. <laughs> but computers were. Um, yeah, it was like, yeah, it was like a BBC computer. You don't even know what that is, do you? It was like the first sort of computer things. Anyway, he had these one of these computers, but he had one better than that. Like a, uh, he took it with him. Was it? 
First of all. No, he had it in his house. Oh, okay. We used to go around each other's house back in the day. Yeah. You know, you'd go around your friend's house yeah. and he like he had a computer sitting there and it was like, wow, this kid is like, wow, he's like a nerd thing and he knows computers. So uh, he convinced me that he could hack into any bank. <laughs> and of course, I don't know what I'm looking at. It was just a keyboard and a screen. So I completely bought the whole idea that this this guy was a computer genius. So he convinced me that he, he could hack into the bank. So he said to me, uh, he said, I'm going to hack into the bank tonight. So I, I went home, so I'll see you at school tomorrow, whatever. He goes, yeah, I'm going to hack into the bank tomorrow, uh, uh, tonight. He said, and I'm going to bring a load of money to, to, to school tomorrow. How old were you? 12, something like that. So I was like, yeah, okay, how much are you going to do? How are you going to get? And he said, I'm going to hack in and I'm going to get £100,000. I was like, brilliant, yeah, great. I mean, we were little, you know, just kids. And uh, the next day, I was so excited that night because, I mean, I was already spending the money. I was like, wow, what are we going to do? Because we've, we've now got my friend who can use a computer and just generate as much. It's like it became the Bank of England. So, um, yeah, he... He came to school the next morning and uh, I was like, have you got it? Have you got it? He's like, yeah, I've got it. I was like, shut up. You've got it. How did, you got it? And he's like, yeah, I've got it. And he opened, he, he, opened his, he had this case thing that he brought to school with him and inside was a plastic bag. And in it was bundles and bundles and bundles of money. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. I was like, you did it. It worked. He said, yeah. He said, I can do, we, can, we can do this all day. And, he, and I was like, it's amazing. And he pulled out, he read into the bag and he pulled out a bundle of the cash. And, and he flicked it open. It was cash. And I looked back inside. There was so much money in this bag. Like he's 12 years old or 11 or 12 years old. I couldn't believe what I was looking at. I was like so excited. So uh, I said to him, well, what should we do now? And he goes, well, you take that and I'll get some more tomorrow. So I was like, okay. <laughs> so I took the bundle of cash and whacked it in my case and that was it so that was it that day i was like i 100 percent believed i had god knows how much money in my bank and in, in my case and um and i think it was a break time <laughs> we got um little chocolate bars and it was like okay so let's go and count all the money and see what's there and when i started counting it out he had meticulously he had he had taken one pound notes when one pounds were notes and he had wrapped and he'd cut bits of paper out the same shape. He must have, <laughs> he must have been up all night doing this. Right? And he made loads and loads of, it wasn't even, nothing was printed on it. The first one was the one he kept, which was all real money. And then everything else he just cut into shapes. And I was like, I was just deflated. I couldn't believe it. I was like, why, what, why did you do that? <laughs> but did... Like, he must have known that you would realise that. So yeah, it's exactly. Was it just a joke? or Yeah, it was a joke. But it was... It just went really far. <laughs> so far, because it was like, it wasn't even a ha ha ha, that's funny. It was like, why did you do that? Was, what was that all about? He probably wanted to make friends. Yeah, I think he probably did. Yeah, I think that's what it was all about. Or to stop me from cutting his fingers off. <laughs> But yeah, that was uh, that was quite ridiculous. Anyway, uh, where where are we? All right. Sorry about that little story there. I got a little bit carried away. Uh, okay. where, where are you going? I see the sheep needs something. Does the sheep need something? Uh, right. Okay. Uh, where are we? Hold on a minute. I'm trying to catch up now. Um, Jesse says, "Sorry, I'm just um, I'm just catching up on these because I was got sidetracked with telling Rachel that story." <laughs> um, good night, Lost Boys. See you later. Good Thanks night. for joining us. It must be like five o'clock in the morning or six o'clock in the morning over there, something like that. Probably no, a bit later than that, so half six, something like that. Um, I thought that your tongue wouldn't stick to a metal pole in the snow. Of course, I had to try it. It stuck, and my brother, laughing, had to pour water on me to get the pole. <laughs> that really hurts, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, I've done that with ice cream. 
I used to believe that sparrows were baby pigeons. Uh, I fell for the spaghetti tree, April Fools. Oh, yeah, do you remember that? I believe space aliens were living among us, were here to kidnap us. Ah. Uh, when I was five, I believed that the usual snails with snail shells are baby snails. And when they're adult, that they don't need their snail shell anymore. So I believed a slug was an adult snail. <laughs> um, just me. Thank you very much for your super chat. I Thanks, made me. I made my little sister believe that baby teeth were collected by the tooth fairy to make the mashed potato for shepherd's pie. She still kind of believed it into her teens. That's terrible, isn't it? When you you get those sorts of uh, beliefs. Ariane, thank you very much for your super chat. Thanks, Ariane. And that's for the renovation fund. Oh, thank you very much. We're going to need that, I think. Um, I believe spinach turned your ribs green. <laughs> oh, my word. Uh, the Tooth Fairy, come on. Why would parents allow some weird, creepy ke creature to come into your room and buy your teeth, teeth from you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was quite read... nice, though. It was quite exciting, I Did thought. Did you read that one? Uh, Jan says, when I was a child, I thought everyone's parents were called my parents' <laughs> names, John and Betty. I thought it was an adult name for mums and dads. <laughs> That's brilliant. Uh, Alexa is a bitch some days. Um, okay, hold on. I've got, I, I'm, I'm too far down. Hold on. Oh, Patty Page was a famous American singer in the 50s and uh. 60s. Okay, thank you very much. Um, when I was a little girl, I accidentally closed my finger in the car door. Oh. What about the cigarette lighter? Do you remember the cigarette lighter? <laughs> Who didn't do that? Oh, look, it's red. It looks pretty. It's burning flesh. Remember that. Had that scar on the end of your finger for ages. <laughs> uh, Lost Boy says, just... Just me. Scroll down the vids on my channel. Okay, Lost Boys, I'll have to have a look at that. Is that about your foot? Um, I'm named after the Sherry Baby song from the 50s. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, Sherry Baby. Um, right, hold on. We're still on names. What? Hold on. Uh, I once tried to turn a push mower off with a metal screwdriver on the spark plug. Very shocking. Um, you try to turn it off by putting a metal screwdriver on the spark plug. That's like knife in a toaster, isn't it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Oof. Uh, the, I know Carolyn... I, oh, sorry, hold on. I once tried to... Oh, no, 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 it makes a world of difference, doesn't it? I like the name Lesko Brandon for a boy. I had a girl, unfortunately. Lesko Brandon. Let's go. Let's go, Brandon. <laughs> Let's go. I like it. Uh, Santa wasn't real. You actually believe that Santa wasn't real? Can't believe that. My school friend dived into the shallow end of a pool. She broke her nose, and when she got it fixed, the surgeon asked if she also wanted it shorter. She looked great afterwards. Wow. <laughs> uh, I was convinced I was going to spontaneously combust up until I was oh, about 12. That's horrible. That's scary, isn't it? Uh, I, I believe my ex loved me and wasn't sleeping with that woman at work. Aww. Yeah. Uh, that you played spot the ball with a pin and listened for the hiss if you got it. Believed that until I was 17. What's spot the ball? <laughs> Uh, when you've got a picture of like a, a an action shot of um, football, yeah, and but they've removed the ball and you have to put an X where uh. you think the ball goes. <laughs> uh, believing hair grows from the ends, not from the scalp. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> you believe that your hair grows from the end and not the scalp? I don't even know how that would work. How did you believe that? Um, uh, believing an apple tree will grow in your tummy if you swallow the pips. Jan. Oh, yes. 
Oh, they used to keep me why up did, awake. Why no. did parents do things like that to us? Well, that was, in fairness, that wasn't my parents. I think that was just my peers. No. That's just other kids telling Passing you. Passing it on. Yeah. Like, eat your crust and you'll get curly hair and stuff like that. Yeah, and, and carrots make you see in the dark. Yeah. <laughs> um, uh, I could listen to your stories forever. Oh, Tara, thank you. Are you talking to me? For shame, Julian, for shame. Well, what's for shame? Maybe your story of cutting someone's fingers off. <laughs> Maybe. Uh <laughs> what have you committed yourself to? Up teen years of Julian making stuff up. <laughs> I don't make up loads of stuff. It was only like when the when the opportunity arose. Uh, believing if you eat the seeds from a watermelon, they will grow inside of you. Or if you swallow bubble gum, it takes seven years to digest. Judy, I still believe that. What about the bubble gum? No, about the seven years to digest bubble gum, yeah. I'm oh, sorry, is that what you said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Not about the bubblegum. No, about the bubblegum. <laughs> no, about the bubblegum. Not about the bubblegum. No, yeah, about the bubblegum. Uh, when we were young, we asked mother where my eldest brother came from. No idea why. She said she found him under a tree, so we told everyone at school. It got back to her. Like a cabbage patch, kid. <laughs> my nan told me that I was found under a bush. Maybe you were. Yeah, not that kind of bush. <laughs> Rachel, please stop. Right, okay. Um, uh, that, that, that like you would see yard sale. I don't understand that bit. I might be off to something else. Uh, Tara says she loves seeing you so much more relaxed, Rachel. I'm just in a bit of a silly mood, to be honest. Are you? Why are you in a silly mood? No. I usually am quite relaxed. I think I'm quite a relaxed person. But I'm usually just so relaxed that... I probably seem unrelaxed. <laughs> uh, Jan says, when I was tiny, I used to throw seeds down the toilet. Don't laugh. I felt sorry for all the horrible things it had to eat and thought I'd give it something nice. <laughs> Honestly, true story. Oh, Jan, that's really thoughtful of you. <laughs> right, is, are you still having those thoughts? Um, I mean, you can share them with the group. Uh, we're all here for you, Jan. Not a problem at all. Um Okay. I asked my dad if the sea was caused by leaving a tap on. I was a toddler at the time. <laughs> Mother said as a kid during World War II, they would run around and catch bombs. If you caught them before they landed, they didn't explode, apparently. Oh, my goodness me. That is the, that's the generation right there, isn't it? My word. I was told that when I swallowed gum, it would rot in my stomach for seven years. Yeah, same thing. Lost Boys, are you still here? Uh, no, he's gone to bed. Oh. It says he wrote a comment there. What Aren't you, you supposed to be asking us the questions? I did ask you questions. This was a question of, what was it? The most ridiculous thing you've believed. That's where we're going. Uh, my parents and aunts and uncle convinced me the moon was made of cheese. I never believed that. I never got that one. When I was five, I believed that the usual snails were snails. Oh, that's right. We're talking about that one. Well, I've got a question. You have? Yeah. Go on then. Um, hang on, I just need to think how to word it. Do you... Do you have... Does anybody have any conspiracy theories? And if so, what are they? Does that make sense? Um, does anybody believe in, in conspiracy theories? And if you do, what are they? Okay. Well, isn't that an oxymoron? Because it's a conspiracy theory. If you believe in it... Yeah, then... well, I mean something that's perceived by other people as a conspiracy oh, theory. Oh, okay, like okay. moon landings or something else. Um, can I just say here... People I've... believe 9-11 didn't happen. Sandy has said, how can we get rid of that pervert? Yeah, I don't... Uh... Oh, is it the Akash? Where? Any oh. pretty girl, sexy... How do we block that? Click it. Maybe... No. Oh, there. The three dots at the end. Oh, okay. Sorry, guys. I missed him. Put... Uh, hide, hide user. Uh, okay. So we've just hidden his messages. So, um, Akash, uh, if you're listening to this... Um, we don't need any perverts by the sounds of these stories that are coming through this 
There's plenty of perverts in the comments already. We don't need any more. <laughs> you know who I'm looking at. It's disgusting. Um, My son bit his nails when he was four, so I took his nail and threw it through the ceiling and told him it turned into a cloud. I said, see that little hole? And he said, yeah. He was amazed. <laughs> um, well, hold on a minute. Uh, sorry, catching up on here. I only learned a few years ago is that goldfish don't have three second memories. You can train them to follow a routine. I told you that one that I had that I, if you it would yeah, come you, and look you, for you when you come in and I used to tell it I loved it all the time. Um, they said it, it knew its name. Well, it responded. It would follow you as well. If you move around, it would like it would be looking at you. That was I felt so bad. So like you're stuck in there, man. Unfortunately, uh, all my conspiracy theories have come true. Don't get me started. Man did land on the moon. <laughs> Oh, Jan, no, never happened. Moon, it's not even real. <laughs> Unfortunately, all my conspiracy theories have come true. Oh, Yes, Fox, Fox News. News. Oh, conspiracy theory. Ronnie is an alien and is busy recruiting all the other donkeys to take over the world. Well, you don't know. Uh, do you know lock-up show reality? Do you know lock-up show reality? No, lock-up show reality. Reality show lock-up. don't know. Uh, don't know. He, he meant... Um, our, Theory, queen our queen is a reptile. reptile. Ooh, ooh. I don't know whether. I, yeah, this whole thing. Linda Firth, really? How disrespectful! Oh, I missed that one. Did we miss one? Is it was there a disrespectful comment? Uh, I didn't see anything there. I can't see anything there. Uh, I didn't see it. Did you? No. Oh, hold on. How old is Oliver now? That's the only one. <laughs> uh, he is... Uh, Oliver is... Uh, yeah, I have him. I believe... I had made my little sister believe there was a ghost in the cellar. Then I started believing it too and couldn't go past the cellar door if it was open. Karma! That's absolute karma. Um... <clears throat> Uh, I honestly believe that half the people on the road never pass the test. <laughs> Conspiracy theory, yeah. Steve is actually a hologram. <laughs> He's definitely not. I tell you, when he gets hold of your ears sometimes, not such... I wish he was a hologram sometimes. Um, one day Wales will show us who's boss, yeah. He is about seven weeks old. Oh. Some people think the Queen is a reptile. It, what is this? Isn't this whole reptilian thing? Didn't that all come from David Icke? Oh, did it? I think so. And it's like... I, I don't know. I don't, Marilyn Monroe like, was murdered. Yes. You, you were telling me about that the other day. Yeah. The other day, but why were we speaking about that? Yeah, I'm pretty certain. I'm pretty sure she was. And also it came out, didn't they, about the transcripts from phone calls that she was mm. having... Um, there was a documentary actually it was on that documentary that it was recommended to us called Unacknowledged oh was it on that? yeah that bit? Um, she was uh, well, the, the, the documentary Unacknowledged the Unacknowledged I think it's called there's a section in it where someone is saying they were friends with Marilyn and they were reporters and the day before she was found dead that she had made a phone call to them to her and the transcripts were found by uh, released documents from the government and it said I'm going to tell the whole story and it was because she felt jilted by JFK and that uh, she was going to re reveal and uh, tell the world about the aliens and then the next day she was found dead That's right yeah so I don't know I don't know <laughs> I also believe Diana was murdered too. Oh, yeah. Um, Flat Earthers, what's that about? Yeah. Mm. Yeah, we, yeah. Hev, we thank you very much for your super chat. Thank you, Hev. 
Um, I never heard of the Queen being a lizard until just now. She's a great leader, great woman, yes. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know her. Um, I've got nothing against her, really. Um, she's, yeah, I mean, yeah. I don't know how I feel about all of that business. Um, I wouldn't say I'm a royalist, and then I wouldn't say I'm anti. I, um, but I say I don't know her, so quite... But I think, I don't know, it's just people of extreme privilege, um, extreme wealth. Um, I don't know what, what relevance it has now and as the world moves, moves forward and how we move forward as, a, as people. I don't know its relevance, but um, perhaps we shouldn't get onto that whole subject. We'll keep it light. <laughs> Uh, we've got a few other people here agreeing that Diana was murdered. I can't decide if they actually believe it's flat or if they are just contrarians. Idiots, by the way. <laughs> no, we had one here. Yeah, they we, do. We had a flat earther come here and it just blew my brain, the the level of belief that they had, or this guy had, that the, the earth was flat. But it was the it was the way... It was the excuses or the reasons why he believed it that I found so amazing. Like, yeah, I don't know. It was strange. He believed some other strange stuff as well. I can't remember what it was. Now. I think the 9-11 one was one. He didn't believe that it happened. Uh, uh, I'd rather have a queen than a president. Look how well that turns out. Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Although we've got a queen and a prime minister, so... It's like having two. <laughs> well, I don't know about Boris. Um, I'm, I'm, Fui says, I'm learning tricks in case aliens are real. I figure I'll make a great pet and not be food. Yeah, let's entertain them. That's the best way. Good, uh, good thing. Yeah, they won't eat you because you make them laugh or something. I think that's a good way of doing it. I hope I look as good as the Queen at that age. Well, Tara. Yeah. Uh, I'd rather have a Queen than a President. Yeah, any topic. What day did you propose? Don't know. I can't remember. December. Don't know what day it was. Don't know what day it was. It was the second, but I don't know what day it was. It was the second. The second of December. Is that when I proposed to you? Well, that was when we spoke about it. Oh, okay. If you know what I mean. Yeah. Okay. Um, I'm very tired now. Yeah. Friend believed city folk would only eat white eggs, so farmers would paint brown eggs white. I told well. her the truth when she was 15. <laughs> Uh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I just watched a documentary too about Marilyn Monroe. Oh, okay. I tell you what, if you want a documentary, but be prepared because it is bloody hard hitting, uh, it's called Winter on Fire. And, um, mm. if, if you like documentaries, um, yeah, check it out. It, it's, it's incredible. It's an incredible documentary. Um, and it is uh, incredibly hard hitting. It's one that's stayed with me for ages. It's really in my head. Um, it's yeah, it's crazy. But yeah, watch it. It's called Winter on Fire, and it's on Netflix. But be prepared. It is yeah, it's pretty hard. Um, okay, guys. Well, uh, December the second is my birthday. Great day. Yes. Oh, and ask. Yes, Winter on Fire. Yeah, it is pretty horrible, isn't it? Um, hit the like button. Yes, everybody, hit the like button. Give us a final like button smash. Let us know if you have any final questions for us. Winter on Fire, give us a clue, please. Uh, Linda, it's, uh, Winter on Fire is about the Ukrainian uprising. Or not uprising. It was... A protest. It was a protest from 2014, I think it started. 2013, it started in 2014. Did it? I thought it was the other way around. Um, yeah, but... Uh, could it be the other way around? No, it... it <laughs> yeah, and it's just... It basically puts some context into the current situation over there. And um, it's amazing. It's amazing. Uh, just... Yeah. Uh, it just... The, the Ukrainians are incredibly strong people. Unbelievably strong people. And really, it just... Yeah. Yeah, it's amazing. Just watch it. Watch it. Oh, we've got a little troll in the group. Oh, have we? Uh, it's held a message for review, though. Oh, good, good. Oh, R Rian. 
Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Well, no one can, no one else can see that message, Rian. So um, sucks to be you. Yeah, right back at you, Rian, for all your lovely words that you've just written there to Rachel and I. Gosh, how sad. Um, anyway, does anyone enjoy British mysteries? British mysteries. Oh yeah, I love a British mystery. Do you mean like a Sherlock Holmes? Or well, the classic has got to be the the, the Jack the Ripper. Oh yeah. Although I did hear an interesting uh, theory on Jack the Ripper uh, coming from, I can't remember what the guy's name is now. That's marvellous. I had the answer of who the Jack the Ripper was, but now I can't remember his name. Ended up in Broadmoor. Can't think of his name now, but it's um, very interesting. Anyway. <laughs> Get off Facebook. But who? I don't know. That's what Anne wrote. Ah. Uh... I'd rather watch the BBC and British Mysteries over American TV. BBC and British Mysteries over American TV. Mm. Well, I don't know. Um, I don't know. I suppose it depends, doesn't it? Um, I have to use subtitles for British Mysteries. <laughs> Why is that? This is because it just doesn't make any sense. Um, I love Vera. Oh, OK. Yeah. I think eating baked beans for breakfast, a British mystery. Baked beans for bre breakfast? No, it's not a mystery. Fooey. Yeah, that is not. Baked beans and uh, fried bread. And uh, yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. And vegan eggs and vegan sausages. Unbelievable. Anyway. Tomatoes. I heard that Jack the Ripper was revealed in a documentary which I have not seen yet. Uh, there's a, there was a documentary recently about Broadmoor uh, Hospital, and they they touch on the the history of Broadmoor Hospital, which was a mental hospital, uh, an asylum, I think, for a while. And uh, it talks about the an identity of a particular uh, inmate that came in, or a, or a patient, I should say, and and the, oh, his connection to the Ripper murders, which is mm. quite uh, feasible. Um, I have to use subtitles for most things now. This fad of whispered acting drives me potty. <laughs> whispered acting, yeah, Literally. yeah, or mumbling, mumble acting. Yeah, that's yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I tell you, who's great for that. What's his name? Danny Dyer. No, 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 no. Um, no, um, he was in the Rev Revenant. Oh my God! Yeah. Um... What is it? Oh, I can't remember his name now. What is his name? British actor, played the Cray Twins. His name is, come on. Um, I can see his face. Hardy? Tom Hardy. Tom Hardy, yeah. That's yeah, so yeah, yeah, bad yeah, yeah, yeah. in that film. It's the mumbling. I mean, he's not. He's a great actor, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah, his, mum, it's his mumbling, yeah. Um, thank you very much, Vicky, for your super chat. And thank you, Deb. Lots of love to you in the critters. Oh, oh thank, wow, you, thank, thank you, Deb. Thank you, Vicky. Deb. Thank you very much. Right, guys, that's it. Uh, Tom Hardy, yeah. Have absolutely. they never heard of stage whispers? <laughs> yes, project. <laughs> okay, Julian, give us some Sir Michael. <laughs> well, I could do some Michael, but I'd have to do a whispering Sir Michael. And it goes something like this. If I whisper sweet nothings in your ear, can you hear me? <laughs> I don't know how Sir Michael would whisper. I'm not sure about that. You're only supposed to blow the bloody doors off. The bloody doors off mine. There you go. Thank you very much. That's all you're getting. Love mysteries. Do not understand British humour. Uh oh. Um, Linda says she watched the Broadmoor thing. Very interesting, but I can't remember the name given for Jack the Ripper either. Well, Linda, aren't we? That's why we work at New Scotland Yard, and uh, I think we would be pretty rubbish, wouldn't we? We would be the worst <laughs> detectives ever. Yes, Sarge, we've got him. Yeah, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember. I can't remember. Linda, can you remember his name? <laughs> and says, what is Steve's voice? Steve's voice? He's a bit stupid. Uh, <laughs> he's got a... Yeah, he's, he's a bit um, bit dense, Steve. Uh, but very, uh, very genuine, very loving, but he's just a little bit... A bit dense. I have got his voice. I'll have to do a video for you. Perhaps that'll be another donkey chat. We'll do that. 
Did you read that? Oh, uh, we've got another one. We've got another one. This is, <laughs> we've got this. We've got this guy that is uh, sending us some messages, um, which obviously are held for review. So James, I don't know who you're. It just comes to me. That's great. Uh, well, I hope that. I hope that the problem that you have heals very soon, James. Maybe that's his pointless injury, stupid injury. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he had a very pointless in injury. <laughs> Something to do. Well, never mind. Put some cream on it. That's all I would say, <laughs> James. Put some cream on it, my friend. Um, oh. Okay. I left. Uh, Facebook recently. Now they are running me by emailing that someone else wants to be my friend. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, right. June, you do a great Michael Caine impersonation. Thank you very much, Caroline. Thank you very much, Caroline. Caroline. I would never know how to pronounce that, whether it's Caroline or Caroline. I would pronounce it Caroline, wouldn't you? Caroline. Anyway. Uh, I think if it was Caroline, it would have a double N on the end. I think it might be Caroline. Oh, okay. Uh, please confirm. Please confirm. Uh, Julian, uh, have you ever acted in a comedy? Yeah, I did. I did um, a comedy short. I did a couple of comedy shorts. Um, but it, it, it was very early on in my acting career. And I didn't really know what I was doing. I'd like to have a go now, actually. I quite fancy doing a comedy now. I think I'd quite enjoy it. Um, we could do a thing where we think what celebrities the animals sound like. Yeah, Tara says, is Steve as thick as two short planks? I think so. Steve is Benny from Crossroads. Yeah, exactly, that's his character. That is absolutely it. You've just smashed it, yeah. Benny from Crossroads. I don't know what that is. A lot of people won't actually know. It. Benny was, uh, let's just say he was a little bit, um, he wouldn't have been topping the class at school. And he would be very believing, very gullible, incredibly gullible, um, but a very, very good heart, I would say. Okay. But I think he's a bit cleverer than that, actually. So think, well, Valerie says, never underestimate people or animals you consider thick. Could be your downfall. Well, that's very true. That is very true. That's why I say I don't consider... I don't, perhaps I shouldn't call him thick. Yeah, I won't say. Carolyn, not Caroline. Uh, I'm waiting for Rachel to say what's Crossroads. <laughs> Do you know what Crossroads is? I already said I don't know what it is. Oh, you don't? Yeah. It was a TV show. Um, like a soap. Uh, and it, you just explained the character of Benny, but I didn't, oh, you didn't, know didn't have uh, any reference. Okay. It was set in a motel. Do you know what a motel is? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, it was set in a motel and uh, it had like the staff and everything. And then there was a bar person and Benny was like this guy that wanders around. I don't know what Benny did really. And then there was another one that wandered around. It was just... Just setting across roads and things that happen. I don't know. I was little. I can just barely remember it. I remember the sound. Okay. That was it. Okay. Forrest Gump. So, um... Wobbly walls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Wobbly walls. When they closed the door, the whole thing would shake. You know, the set was so bad. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, good stuff. Guys, thank you so much for joining us. And the super chat. My word. Didn't even... What am I looking at here? Uh, the super chat, four hundred and twenty-five pounds and sixty-eight pence on the super chat tonight. That is amazing. Uh, oh, and Jennifer says, Julian read just an idea. What was that? It's, it's just not. Yeah. The last frame. She's retracted it now. Oh, missed she it. maybe missed. Okay. What? Did you read it? I I don't read. Yeah, that. but half of the message was missing, so maybe she's going to write it again. Ah, oh, okay, okay. Uh, what was the Scottish chef called? Which one? No, what in you're talking about in Crossroads? Oh, I don't know. I don't remember a chef. Uh, I remember Miss Diane, <laughs> but that was Benny Love, Miss Diane. Anyway, sorry, your eyes are glazing over. You've had a long day, right? Okay. Have you ever watched American comedies? Yeah, we. Well, we get a lot of that. My favourite American comedies would be obviously Friends. Mm. Um, the 
my brain's gone absolutely numb. I can't think of any situation. What was the one where it was the gay guy and the uh, I can't remember. The, I can't remember the gay guy lived with his friend in a with Charlie Sheen. Oh yeah, that was two and a half kids, wasn't it? Two and a half men. Two and a half men. I can't remember. Yeah, quite a few. <laughs> I can't quite remember any of them. Oh yeah, I remember that one. Same as the Yorkshire Ripper, that one as well. Uh, Gina Di Doma Domiano, thank you thank very you. much for your super chat. Uh, Hopefully this small donation can serve some small purpose. It certainly can. Yeah, it all adds up, doesn't it, Gina? When does it start getting hot there? Well, it was really hot, like recently but um and then it got cold again and then it rained usually may yeah yeah may yeah 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 um okay guys will um and grace never seen will and grace be well and says be well all have a good week thoughts and prayers for those that need it absolutely that's um yeah absolutely right oh, that's... Frasier. That's Frasier, that. yeah that was that was brilliant that was brilliant yeah we'll um yeah yeah let's well thank you very much big bang theory yeah love that absolutely love big bang theory oh they're all coming out now <laughs> right cheerio bewitched yes that was a good one bewitched that was a film as well wasn't it um thank you very much once again and we'll see you hit the like button on your way out and uh, thank you very much for all your super chats and for joining us again uh, on this uh, on this live it's great fun really been fun nice to get away from the world and it for a little while um see you all next week who knows what will happen i've got a video coming out this week with steve and i'm going to do some voices i think and we'll get an idea of what steve sounds like and maybe the things he says might be interesting um see you soon i'll send some more videos of barry and some other bits is there any particular videos you would like to see Perhaps you could just put them there. If there's any particular ones that you want to see or you're desperate to see, just write a name of the animal or whatever in the in the comment and I will make sure we get them this week. You read this one out because it's been written three times. Just me. Do you feel better now you know all this crazy stuff about us? Restraining orders? <laughs> yeah, I do. I like to know who I'm dealing with now. I've got a much better idea. And basically you're all majority of you have got some serious problems and there's nothing i can do to help you i'm afraid um nothing we can do disgusting i am going to practice tonight though with my own cleavage to see if i can put lipstick on because i just think that that's an incredible skill um piggies cats pig chats videos with prince steve more charlie ruby 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 I want Charlie to sound like Michael Caine. Okay. <laughs> Brilliant. Okay, guys, thank you very much. That's enough there. Uh, we are all broken. Yes, I think you are all broken. It's just nice to know that the sanctuary isn't just here for the animals, but it's here for you too. Please. All you broken people that need the sanctuary, we're here for you. <laughs> um, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. Because What was the percentage the other day? Do you remember you looked at... What? It said like how many percentage of people that view our videos aren't subscribers? Oh, 32% of people that view our videos are not subscribers. Yeah. So if you aren't subscribed, please subscribe. It does make a difference. And also follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you are on there. Uh, we put up daily stories on Instagram, which also share to Facebook. So for, yeah, a bit more of what's going on. Yeah. Stuff like that. Stuff like that. Okay. See you later, guys. Love you loads. Thanks, everyone. Have See you week. next week. Cheerio. Bye. Bye. Bye.